Okay, I I found this thing today at the flea market. It's a uh, Yamaha Porta Sound PC50. You can find other videos of it uh, on YouTube. But this was the most interesting thing. Uh, it has these cards of songs. Un unfortunately, I only have two. Apparently it comes with 12 songs out of the package. So here's Edelweiss and Aloha O. And this this here actually, this is a magnet strip. So you, you're supposed to, supposedly can load the song by sliding it here. We'll see if that works. Or actually, I don't yet know if it works at all. I don't have a... 12 volt power adapter for this. Yeah, so this was this was uh, like on a on a table, and there were like paintings on top of it, and I I could barely see the corner of it, and I I had no idea what this is. I just uh, I just noted that that there was some kind of keyboard. I saw that it's actually a Yamaha, so it actually might be something interesting. I googled a bit. Well, it's not something like coveted vintage gear or anything. It's uh, like mid ground between a toy and a proper synthesizer. Synthe, synthesizer. And uh, I got it for. It was originally something like 50 euros, but they had ha half the price, and it was 25 euros then. And of course, I opened these battery compartments, and uh, unfortunately, there seems to be some corrosion. Something has happened here. So instead of a demo video, this might turn into a salvage video or a teardown. We'll see how how bad it is. Right. Let's just try it. If I'm correct, yeah, there's there's graphics and everything, and it <laughs> it eats six of these huge C batteries. Uh, you know nowadays, uh, I don't even know why old gear takes so much. I I think it's just just power loss in the power converters and stuff. But yeah, I don't know why the old gear takes so much power. Nowadays, this would be like two triple A or something. But anyway, I, I also bought like one pack of these Duracell batteries. I was like, yeah, four four has to be plenty. I googled for this. Well, actually, I looked looked it up on YouTube, and I found a Magpie Magpie video of similar thing, uh, like the predecessor of this one, and he said that it takes six C batteries. I was like, six really? And then I went and looked at the manual and yep, six. And then I had to go to another store and buy two more. Let's see what happens. I'm not overly optimistic. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck. Okay, so it's dead. It's dead. It might be... First of all, let me get rid of these batteries here. And let's see if they are already hot. <laughs> nope. Thankfully, nope. Okay. So... It might be that the, just the terminals have, the, have corroded. And if you are super lucky, it's only this terminal. You can actually see that this is super corroded. I should get some sandpaper first. Oh, I found some, some sandpaper. Hopefully this is... Let's see, K400. Actually, I think that's perfect for, for the trip. But that, it's kind of hard to get to it. And I'm kind of curious about the inner, so we're gonna open it anyway. I'm sure it doesn't contain asbestos or anything. Just happen to have like brand new screwdrivers here. Let's see what's the size. 
I think this is be fine. Oh. Really? Oh, you know what? I don't have the proper screwdrivers for this because these are Japanese screws. I wouldn't know that there's Japanese that Japanese screws even exist if it wasn't for AVE. Check out his YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, that doesn't feel right. I'm gonna strip them with that. Maybe. Actually, maybe with the flathead. Yeah, I think I'm safe with that flathead. I should get something to collect. The scrap. Why do I have? Why do I have so much scrap on my table? Just going to make like a piece of tape here where I can put put the screws so I don't lose them. Yeah, that one is corroded to hell. The get it done. Oh, good old eighties tech. There's no weird, <laughs> like weird uh, snap on things. It's, you just lift it off. That's nice, actually. Let's see, I want to get rid of all these, all these screws. All right, so that's really corroded and that's really corroded. And this is screw that's really corroded. I should get like WD40 on this or some kind of cleaner. I wonder if I have any. First, let's do the simplest thing. Simplest, simplest possible thing first. Smells a bit burnt. It might be actually burnt. Let's see if there's continuation in there. I'm gonna get my multimeter. We might need this. Here's my soldering station. Cleaning solution, gloves. There's absolutely no need for this case here. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. It was actually here mostly for framing. Well, <laughs> for my optimism that maybe maybe I just put the batteries in and it will work. Yeah, right. That's never the case. Let's have a look if there's possibility of continuity from those contacts as they are. Let's see where's the beeper. Oh, mm. does this not have a beeper mode? No, 
that's unfortunate. Let's see, so I probably can get the contact there. Can I get one here? Nope. What? What? That's weird. How about here? And uh, here I can get some kind of continuity. Oh. something okay good now I can get continuity through the coil and the other end Where's my, I wonder where all my small pliers are yeah I didn't really come prepared for this well, I had it in my back of my mind, but for example, I didn't think at all where are all my tools or anything like that. Oh, look at that. There's, there was wash, like little pieces of some kind of goo that held this cable down here. That's nice attention to detail. Unfortunately, it, it gave up. Okay, I can get continuity through that also. Uh, is it on or off? No. Where's the battery? There we go. Never eat or drink while handling some nasty chemicals and stuff like this. It's just a bad idea. I'm stupid. All right. Oops. <laughs> Look at that battery bank. That's insane. Okay. I'm just going to close it. Well, actually, let's look if all the knobs and bobs and stuff work. Let's see if I can flip this over with the batteries in. Oh, I'm always stuck. Can I do this somehow? Yeah, fuck. All the garbage is on my table now. Let's try this again. Uh -huh. Okay, good. I want to know if the, all the sliders and stuff work. There's a lot of crap in there. Actually working very smoothly. Look, no crackling at all from the volume slider. That's actually surprising. Wait, what? 
how to bus code. What is single finger code? Okay, so, so I get the interesting. Can I somehow change the cold thing? Okay, never mind. So I guess with that, okay. It's actually super advanced. Like there's two tones in the keyboard now, and this is is that supposed to be some kind of poly, polyphony? Look at that! One, two, one, two, three, four, five tone polyphony. Or is is that like a different thing? No, it's. Photon polyphony, but that's that's cool. This isn't a toy at all. This is a like, proper proper tool. Yeah. Now what do these these are probably for play card system. Maybe these have just only work with that. Let's try that before I can uh, before I even close this. Where did I put those cards? I think there was like a button you should press before doing this, but. Also might be that this is completely full of crap. Okay, so these don't seem to work. But but might be that this is just really dirty. I wonder if I'm doing more good or harm by maybe like eh. I want this to work so bad. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Arpeggio. Wait, what? Where was Arpeggio? Look at that, showing me what to play. If I didn't suck so bad. Okay, hey, that's cool. We got the uh, error was working. And this hasn't been used all that much. This Aloha O has been used a lot more. Let's try this. This, this arpeggio thing, I wonder what that means. Hmm. 
Hey, this is cool. I still don't know what, what half of this stuff does, but... And... Are these multicolored lids? I'm sure I saw, like, yellow coming one of those. Oh, man. Yeah. And look at those, those are so lovely. Like, they, they light up, like, really bright and then they dim down. I really like this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to take this apart if I don't have to. And apparently I don't have to. Everything seems to be working just fine. Wait, what? Oh, this is different volume for the... I'm having way too much fun with this. Okay, so master volume. Uh, volume for this section. Volume for the drum machine and then selector for selector for the tones for the rest of the keys or all of the keys if this is off but it starts from a weird place I'm used to keyboard starting from C <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not really I don't know how to play a keyboard either. but now Yes, this. Oh, right, so when it's up, it's this out of place for. Okay. Oh, and there's also transpose, so. Okay, so that's one click here, it's a half tone transpose. I'm not sure why would you need that. I imagine that it was easy to implement, so they put it in. Okay, cool. Um, I clean up, I put this together, and let's see if we can do make some music with it. Okay, as you can see, I'm a bit constrained <laughs> in my desk real estate, or I'm not managing it very well. Now do I actually... You should... Yeah, anyway. Audio here to here to Ableton Live. I have set this now to kind of... Kind of about 120 BPM. And I'm hoping to get... Some... Um... 60 BPM. So I need to do that again. I synchronized the BPM somewhat. And I guess this is the day I learned to use <laughs> Ableton with only mouse. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it sounds so bad. Dear. something very odd. Uh, let's delete that then. Let's try it again.
Features, the keys are so nice. I really love the lids. It was also cool to see the cards working. What else? Yeah, overall, six out of five. Nice thing. It was actually interesting that I can get better sound from, or not better sound, but I like the tonality of the small speaker more than the raw signal straight to machine and back to my ears using these headphones. I, I assume the speaker has been designed to work with this sound chip as well. Just a minute. <laughs> I had super fun time playing with this. So I had this basic RCA cable to connect it to. And yeah, one of the tips. But yeah, basically. Oh. <laughs> it's still not quite clean. Look at this. <laughs> Need to encourage it a bit. <laughs> it's so fun. I, I don't want to put it away. This is actually probably the best keyboard I have ever had. I'm not much of a gear slot. I only have a one MIDI keyboard and now this one. Cool. I'm sure I will be playing more with this. Yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, Subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff. Yeah, thanks.